All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, debugging, use caution when reinitializing variables inside a loop. All right. So sometimes it's necessary to save information, increment counters, or reset variables within a loop. A potential issue is when variables either should be reinitialized and aren't, or vice versa. This is particularly dangerous if we accidentally reset the variable being used for the terminal condition causing an infinite loop. Uh-huh. Anyway, we'll get into it. We'll, we'll, hopefully this gets more. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, so printing variable values with each cycle of our loop by using console.log can uncover buggy behavior related to resetting or failing to reset a variable. The following function is supposed to create a two-dimensional array with m rows and n columns of zero. Unfortunately, it's not producing the expected output because the row variable isn't being reinitialized, set back to an empty array in the outer loop. That's the uh, hint right there. So we're going to fix the code so that it returns a correct two, pardon me, three by two array of zeros, which looks like this. All right. So right now it looks like this. It needs to look like this. So. Uh, this is a, teaching us another thing. If it gives us a hint, let's, we don't have to read all this garbage, all right? Because this is a pointless, uh, this is not anything we need to know at any point. Uh, so it says the outer loop, right? It says the outer loop. So the outer loop is going to be this loop right here. So it's going to be inside of these parentheses. So we say, we click this one and we see that this is the end of these, not parentheses, but curly braces. And so it must be talking about right here. So it wants us to set it back to an empty array right after this push right here. So what we're going to do is say row now equals again this empty array. So we'll say row equals empty array thusly. And you see it's given us what it says right here. Now, if we really had to look at it and go in and figure it out, uh, I don't know. I don't even know how to do that. Honestly, and this thing doesn't really tell us. We can console.log, I guess. I don't know. But honestly, I have no idea. Console.log, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like the only console.log I would know to put would be the one afterwards. What would happen if we did that? Console.log row, I guess. Anyway, that's the thing about debugging. You got to get creative with it and you're, we're not going to get any good at it unless we do it over and over again. Uh, and the only way to do it over and over again is to make that many mistakes. So basically, this is how we do this one. So I don't know what else to tell you. So let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to prevent infinite loops with a valid terminal condition. And we'll see you next time.